This was his routine, Ray. Nobody questions a man who keeps to his routine. You can't arrest Herb Colling for playing chess. A bruise on his forehead. I should have realized. You're not a mind reader, Fraser. You're just a Canadian. Come on, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll blurt out a spontaneous confession. Mr. Colling. Do you mind if I... Public park? You know, this park was created after the Great Fire of 1871. The mayor at the time, uh, Joseph Metal, dedicated it to all the citizens of Chicago to enjoy freely and equally. But people don't seem to feel very free now, do they? In fact, most people seem afraid to come here anymore. I'm not afraid. No. I need your advice. I found this in a dumpster. A rather nice bat. Hardly the sort of thing you'd toss away in the garbage. Don't you agree? You're in my way. I'm terribly sorry. See, I thought it might be valuable to somebody. It's obviously been very well taken care of. It's been oiled and cleaned regularly. The oil, as you see, has been worked into the grain. As a matter of fact, it seeped its way into the wood. It's rather like the rings of a tree, don't you think? See, I think this bat was a memento. I think it belonged to someone who played baseball, someone who loved the game. What do you think? I wouldn't know. It's not your bat, is it? No. Well, that's strange. I saw a picture in the trophy case at the center. It was of a man with a, a boy's team. He was smiling. And he was holding a bat very much like this one. This was a nice park. Forty years ago, people came all over from the neighborhood. On Sundays, they had picnics and sat in the shade. There was a fountain over there. Kids used to take off their shoes and wade in it. Splashed everybody. Made a hell of a noise. It was full of life. But look at it now. When the muggers and the junkies came, the people didn't fight back. They hid inside their homes, behind their doors. Until finally, one day when they tried to come out, they couldn't. They just couldn't. Now, it's not much, but it's my home. I'm supposed to give it up for them? For you? No. Not for anyone. Mr. Calling, this bat has been used to hurt people. Maybe they deserved it, maybe they didn't, but that's immaterial. The law simply does not allow us to go about hitting each other over the head with bats. Now, if he tries again, I'll be watching. So you decided to scare the vigilante by destroying the only piece of evidence we have against him? 
Well, he may try again, Ray. I felt it was worth the risk. You know, Frazier, it's about time someone told you. It's the little things like this that make them not want you back across the board. I go to the counter, I buy a paper. I give her a dollar, she gives me my change, just like we've done a thousand times. Only this time, she sees my red vest and calls me Mr. Not Rudy, but Mr. Porter. So? So, I wink at her, then she winks back at me. We're going to bingo on Saturday night. Hey, go figure. Hey. <laughs> He's in here. Mr. Caller? 